Hi, my name is Bill Schaefer, and today we have a book review of Genghis Khan, Emperor of All Men by Harold Lamb. This book was published in 1927. Harold Lamb spent his career writing historical novels. He wrote biographies of famous people in history, like Alexander of Macedon, as a novel. Genghis Khan was the son of a Khan, a tribal leader. And when he was 12 years old, his father was killed. All the other subjects loyal to his father abandoned him, and he was left alone with his mother to fend for himself. He was kidnapped, escaped from captivity, and eventually prevailed. This was an amazingly difficult childhood. When he was 12, he saw his wife-to-be, and then later when he was 17, he married her and apparently stayed loyal within the customs of his tribe for his entire life. Later, he became ruler of all the Mongol tribes. He invaded and ruled China, and then he crossed the Himalayas and invaded India and conquered India. This was unheard of. One of the many highlights of reading the book was found on page 107, where one of his assistants asked the Khan what was the best thing in life, and he replied, to crush your enemies, to see them fall at your feet, to take their horses and goods and hear the lamentation of their women. That is best. This is the line from Conan Barbarian and must be where that famous line first originated. Another highlight of the book was a description of the summer hunt. During the time when it wasn't advantageous to make war, the Mongol hordes would engage in a hunt that took two months. They'd make a vast circle that was one or 200 miles in diameter. And then slowly, day by day, they would shrink the size of the circle and converge on the center and drive all the animals before them. But they were not allowed to kill any animals. If an animal wouldn't move, say a bear or some other animal, then an individual soldier would volunteer to kill that animal with his bare hands. And if he succeeded, he would get extra points. And finally, at the end of two months, when the circle had converged to a much, much smaller size, the order was given and the hunt commenced and all the animals were killed for food. And this kept his soldiers in shape when they weren't fighting battles. Another highlight of the book was at the end where he listed the code of Genghis Khan. And this apparently was the rules that all the Mongols were required to live by that Genghis Khan himself established. All in all, this was an enjoyable read and a very well-written book. I highly suggest reading Genghis Khan, Emperor of All Men by Harold Lamb. Thank you and leave your comments below.